Right now, it still looks like more downside is to come for Bitcoin. So are we still going to be reaching our 25k target that we have been talking about a very long time already for on this channel? Well, looking at the VPVR indicator, it looks like no volume has been traded in between these ranges. So if we are going to be losing the support, definitely the 25k target will be reached. And it really looks like we are on the verge of breaking down right here. So we want to be talking about the most important charts right now that are indicating that we are at going to be getting this breakdown and are going to be seeing lower targets getting reached so let's get right into our analysis so let's start off with the short term once again and then go into our longer term charts so having a look into our short term well we can currently still see that we are getting rejected by this resistance level right here and that on the one hourly time frame well we have been creating some kind of a symmetrical triangle and we are currently creating this breakdown. Now you could maybe also see this symmetrical triangle being formed as a bear flag scenario right here. And in that case, well, we still have a lot more downside to go towards the downside. But having a look into towards this symmetrical triangle right here, it is currently being retested. And in this scenario, if this symmetrical triangle will be playing out, well, I've my eyes out on this support target right here, which will also be the most important daily support right now at the current moment of trading. And I'm going to be explaining exactly why a little bit later in this video. But right now, what we can also be seeing on the four hourly candles being created is that, well, we have been creating this a very important support level right here over the past couple of weeks. And as you can be seeing for the past of Bitcoin, well, it has been providing some very strong support and resistance right here and right now we are actually breaking down of this level and we are currently retesting it as resistance and we are unable to break back above so until we are unable for the very short term to reclaim this support right here then i'm still going to be bearish for the short term all right i've said it in yesterday's video and i'll say it again look right now it's not the time to be flipping bullish i'm going to be exactly telling you what i am looking for to be flipping bullish but right now right here is not the time all right then having a look into our longer term charts while we are still having massive momentum coming towards the downside and our targets of this falling wedge formation did not yet get reached so we still have a magnet coming in from off the downside that is pulling us down right now for the bitcoin price and also on the three day time frame well we can also be seeing that momentum is still definitely towards the downside having a look at our rsi indicator our money flow index indicator and also our MACD indicator. And this is also still the case on the daily time frame. Also having a look into our money flow index indicator and also our MACD indicator. Still momentum is coming down. So still we are expecting lower targets getting reached. Of course, this is not looking very good. But for the longer term, if you have been following my channel for a longer time, well, of course, you know that in the longer term, we are looking for an upwards move getting created because, of course, our super trend indicator is still bullish right here. And in the past, this has always been indicating a very strong uptrend or downtrend right here. And I actually want to be longing in this uptrend and I want to be shorting in this downtrend. And every single pullback is going to be an opportunity to be longing once again the market towards the upside. Now, for me, in my personal opinion, I think the 25k target will be the level you should be having your eyes out because having a look into the past, well, it has been providing some very strong support. And then also having a look into our bull market support band, well, it will also be providing some very good support. And also our super trend indicator will also be providing us some very good support right here. So yeah, in the end of the day, because momentum is still going towards the downside, I do still expect we can be breaking this support level right here. And because no volume has been traded in between these ranges, well, then our next support level will be the 25k target. So guys, if you do want to be staying up to date about every single market development, be sure to be following me on Twitter to stay up to date. And guys, with that being said, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in another update video tomorrow morning. And guys, bye bye.